Hello, I'm back. It's Christina, author of the Diary of an Ice Princess chapter book series, and today I'm reading more chapters from Frost Friends Forever. I'm going to start with chapter 10. Lena has just decided that she's going to take this sleepover into her own hands. She is going to make it as awesome as she possibly can. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm wondering if she's going to get in even more trouble. This is called Operation Sleepover Begins. And don't forget, Claudia, her best friend, is sleeping over for three nights. That's awesome, right? That would be so cool. Sunday. This is how it all happened. This morning, I woke Claudia up early. She is not a morning person. Listen, do you want to see the most amazing winter magic of your entire life? Claudia sat up. Oh, she was like, mm. All right, waking me up so early. What about Craydon Eastia? After last night, you definitely can't use your powers inside. I'm not talking about using them inside the castle. I'm talking about using them on the ground. My dad is taking the plane down today to go grocery shopping. He parks the plane very close to these big hills that are perfect for sledding, with a little snowy help from me, of course. So don't forget, Lena's dad is a groundling. So he's a human. He's a pilot, and that's how he gets back and forth from the sky. So he's going to go grocery shopping. She's like, that's funny. Claudia's eyes lit up. I explained my plan to her. The plan. We sneak onto Dad's plane. While he runs errands, we run over to the hills. Number three, snow, sledding, winter magic fun. Then we sneak back onto the plane, and no one is the wiser. You think this plan is going to work? Easy, right? I said. Claudia didn't look convinced. Are you sure that we won't get in trouble? I'm sure. I go on shopping trips with my dad all the time, so I know exactly how long it takes him. Come on, it's way better than staying in this boring old castle. Well, it would be nice to be on the ground for a little while, and I promise this will be the best sledding of your entire life. Please, Claudia, don't make me do a routine to win you over. Look at Lena's like, my crazy plan. <laughs> Claudia laughed. You can't do a routine without my help anyway, silly. Okay, let's do it. Chapter 11, Take to the Skies. I'm going to sneak onto her dad's plane. Claudia and I snuck over to the hangar where dad keeps his plane. We hid behind a big bin of spare tires waiting for the perfect moment to sneak on board. You brought your backpack, I whispered, or brought your Claudia nodded. I packed some supplies just in case. You know, snacks and stuff like that. There's Claudia in her backpack. Looks pretty lumpy for just snacks, I said. Trust me, you are going to be so glad that I brought this. Just then, my dad came into the hangar and swung his jacket and goggles up into the plane, then went back into the storeroom. Okay, I whispered to Claudia, now's our chance. We hurried over to the plane. Silently, we hopped up into the back seat and covered ourselves up with blankets. This is really going to work. That's when I heard a whimpering sound coming from outside the plane. Who's that? It's Gusty. That dog. Gusty, I'd forgotten to close him in my room. He is going to ruin everything. Oh, look how cute he is. I sat up and leaned out over the plane. Gusty, go on. Get back inside, I whispered. He stayed put. That dog, he never listens to me. Okay, get up here, but you have to be quiet. Gusty leaped into my arms, and I pulled him in beside me just as my dad came back around the corner. I held my breath. Claudia held her breath. Gusty can't hold his breath. It smells like doggy chow, but at least he was quiet. My dad started the engine, and we were off. Goodness. Chapter 12, The Perfect Hill. We didn't exactly have the most comfortable ride to Earth, there must have been some really thick clouds because the ride was bumpier than usual. I was glad when Dad finally coasted down to the airfield. Okay, so here is um, a, a, like a little map of the, the ground around Lena's school. So this is like where they do their grocery shopping. This is where Lena goes to school. And this is the airfield where her dad can um, land the plane. And there's like a, a place for pilots to hang out. And then there's these hills and this forest, and that's why they're going to these hills. 
We waited until we were sure he was gone and then popped our heads up. We climbed down out of the plane with Gusty at our heels. He loves coming down to the ground. See, nothing to it, I told Claudia. We trekked to the hill through the trees, which hid us pretty well from the airfield. The air felt chilly, but not freezing cold. The perfect sledding weather. I breathed deep. It felt so good to be away from the palace. No one here would tell me to act like a princess. No one would tell me to stop trying to have fun. Claudia grabbed my arm. She looked nervous. We're only going to be here for a little while, right? I nodded. We'll be back on the plane before my dad even finishes checking out at the grocery store. I don't think I need to say this, but I feel that I will as a parent. That this is a bad idea, right? <laughs> like, you should not r run off from your parents without telling them where you're going. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. All right then, Claudia said, let it snow. I held out my arms. A tingly, exciting feeling ran up and down my spine. Diary, it was time to snow big or go home. She's going to snow big, right? Now the next chapter is called, How Snow Can You Go? <laughs> the tingly feeling ran down my arms, through my hands, and into my fingertips. I took a big, deep breath. The air smelled crisp and frosty. I could sense every drop of moisture in the air turning into tiny crystals of ice. Big, fluffy flakes of snow began drifting down all around us. Claudia opened her mouth and held out her tongue. Good? I asked. Just needs a little very berry syrup. I laughed and waved my fingers like a conductor in front of an orchestra. The snow fell harder. I swirled my arms and the snow drifted and banked, and soon the entire hill was covered in a thick blanket of white snow. Claudia started rummaging in her backpack. Snacks already, I asked. Not snacks. This. She pulled out a giant metal mixing bowl. She must have found it in the palace kitchen. Was Claudia going to make snow cookies? She put the bowl on the top of the hill and sat in it. See you at the bottom. Off she went, swooshing down the hill. I couldn't believe it. It was way better than a sled, than any sled I'd ever seen, and it spun around while it went down, which looked even more fun. This is based on something I actually did when it snowed one time when I was in Tennessee. I actually sledded in a metal mixing bowl, and it was awesome. The best sled ever. Highly recommend it, okay? As soon as I made enough snow, I formed my own bowl out of ice and joined her diary. It was beyond wonderful. This is them doing all these fun things in the snow. This was what I had in mind for the perfect winter break with my best friend. Way better than turnip soup and chess. Gusty loved it almost as much as me. When we got tired, I made an ice bench. We sat on the blanket we brought from the airplane and shared the snacks Claudia had packed. I could have stayed out all day, but I knew the fun couldn't last forever. It was time to get back to the plane. We packed everything up and started back up the hill. Hey, Lena, said Claudia, huffing and puffing. You can turn off the snow now, don't you think? What? I did turn it off. Claudia stopped. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm not using my powers. Then what is that? Claudia pointed to the horizon behind us. Diary, I looked up and my stomach flipped. Coming straight toward us was an actual, giant, genuine blizzard. Oh my gosh. That is why the weather was so bumpy when they were going down to the ground and the air smelled so crisp. It was a real blizzard that was coming and they had no idea. And now I think they're going to get trapped in the blizzard. Are they going to make it? Is everything going to be okay? I know because I wrote the book. But if you want to find out, you can tune in to the next um, episode when I read more from Diary of a Nice Princess, Lost Friends Forever.